Hi everyone, welcome back to another video from Indicator Vault. In this video, we'll feature the incredible Master MACD indicator, which is a faster, less lagging, and more adaptive to market changes than a standard MACD indicator. MACD, or Moving Average Convergence Divergence, is one of the most commonly used technical indicators amongst traders for a variety of different reasons. In order to understand how our Master MACD indicator differs from a traditional MACD, let's first take a look at a traditional MACD indicator. The MACD indicator is a technical analyst tool used to identify changes in a, strength, in a trend's strength, direction, momentum, and duration. It consists of two lines that are calculated based on moving averages of a security's price. The MACD is calculated by subtracting the 26-period EMA, or exponential moving average, from the 12-period EMA, and then plotting a 9-period EMA of the MACD line as a signal line. The MACD is typically displayed as a histogram showing the difference between the MACD line and the signal lines. Traders use the MACD to identify potential buy and sell areas when the MACD line crosses the signal line. When the MACD line crosses above the signal line, it is considered a bullish signal, indicating that price trend may be shifting upwards. When the MACD line crosses below the signal line, it is considered a bearish signal, indicating that the price trend may be shifting downwards. The MACD can also be used to identify divergences between the indicator and the asset's price, which can indicate a potential reversal in the trend. The MACD indicator is incredible, but not without its faults. One of the biggest problems is the lagging nature of the standard MACD indicator, meaning you miss out on bigger moves or jump in too late. That is where the Master MACD indicator helps you. The Master MACD indicator incorporates a faster, more adaptive kind of moving average, the whole moving average. And because of this, the Master MACD reacts faster to market changes. That is why you can enter the trend with near to perfect timing, and it also helps you identify explosive breakout moves with great accuracy. Now that we have a better understanding of the MACD indicator, let's take a look at how to use our master MACD indicator in a simple trading strategy. First, we are going to add a couple of different indicators to our chart. I'm currently on the Euro USD on the hourly chart. However, the trading strategy can be used on any time frame and any instrument that you have available for trading. The first indicator that we are going to add is going to be a double moving average. We are going to use two long term moving averages to determine if there is currently an uptrend or downtrend in the market. Remember to place a star next to it to add it to your favorites to make it easier to find in the future. For our double moving average, we are going to make the following changes. Under the settings, we are going to select the preset of 50 and 200 period. The reason for doing this is we are interested in long term trends of the underlying instrument. Under the style, we are going to make the following adjustments. The first moving average, which is our fast moving average, is going to be changed to yellow. And for the second one, which is our slow moving average, is going to be in red. Now that we have a way to clearly identify the trend in the market, Meaning, when the yellow line is below the red line, we are in a downtrend and only taking sell trades. And also the opposite is true. When the yellow line is above the red line, 
we are only taking buy trades as we are in a uptrend. The next part of our strategy is we are going to add our entry signals from the indicator list. Again, save it under your favorites to make it easier to find. Remember to add both the Master MACD indicator and the panel to your chart. For this trend following strategy, it is important to trade along with the trend. So when the yellow line again is below the red line, we are only taking sells. And when the yellow line is above the red line, we are only taking buys. The next part of the strategy involves the signals from the Master MACD indicator. We are going to leave all the inputs the same. However, we are only interested in when the crosses of the MACD and the signal line. For the up arrow, I'm going to use green and the other is going to be red. What we do next is make the same adjustments to our indicator at the bottom, just to give a little bit more unity to the chart. Now to use this easy to use strategy, it is important that we have a couple of rules in place. So what we are going to do next is look at the rules for the Master MACD trend following trading strategy. Now let's take a look at the specific rules for a sell trade first. Our first requirement is that the yellow line needs to be below the red line meaning that the fast moving average needs to be able to slow the slow moving average showing the that we are currently in a long term downtrend. Next we need to wait for a sell signal to be printed in the market. You will see an X is printed on the master MACD panel and on the indicator. Wait for the candle to close before placing your trade. Once the candle has closed, the prevailing signal is printed in the market. Place a short or sell position with a stop loss close to the moving average or just above it and aim for 1 to 2 risk to reward. Meaning, for every 1% that you risk, you should aim to make at least a 2% return. Once all of these confluences are in place, simply place your sell trade with the stop loss and take profit and let the trade play out. Next, let's take a look at a summary for the sell rules for this trend following trading strategy. For a sell trade, the 50 moving average or yellow line needs to be below the 200 moving average, which is our red line. Next, we wait for a sell signal to be printed by the master MACD indicator. Remember, when the yellow line is below the red line, we are only taking sell trades. Place your stop loss above the 200 day moving average and aim for 1 to 2 risk to reward. Meaning for every 1% of the account that you risk, you should aim to make at least a 2% return. Next, let's take a closer look at the rules for a buy or long trade. One of the questions that we get the most is can the trading strategy and indicators be used for trading cryptocurrencies? And the answer is absolutely yes. Next, we have an example on the Bitcoin USD on the 15 minute time frame. What you will see is that the 50 moving average is currently above the 200 moving average, meaning we are only taking buys or long trades. Next, we wait for a buy signal to be printed and closed by the master MACD indicator. To do this, simply wait for the candle to close and the buy signal to be printed. What you do next is place your buy position with your stop loss just below the 200 moving average and aim for 1 to 2 risk to reward and simply let your trade play out. By following these rules of the strategy, you are able to align yourself with the overall trend in the market by using the components of the strategy. So let's enter this trade and see what happens. 
Remember the rules for a buy trade are as follows. The 50 moving average needs to be above the 200 moving average. Wait for a buy signal on a pullback and enter your trade with your stop loss below the 200 moving average and aim for 1 to 2 risk to reward. You will see in a couple of candles that it reached our take profit level and that we were able to close a lovely trade following the rules and with our master MACD indicator. The master MACD indicator works on multiple different instruments and it also works on any time frame, meaning you can test this trading strategy on the instrument that you like trading. I hope that this indicator and strategy feature today was helpful. Until next time, happy trading. Bye.